All right, so I don't really take subways. I take Ubers, but let's uh, let's take a subway today. I'll show you what it's like to take a damn subway in New York. Uh, my ears are about ready to pop. There must be a subway around here somewhere. Let's see. Okay, no, no, there's another escalator. Well, at least this one will be a short escalator since that one was a long escalator. Let's, uh... Holy crap. Taking a subway. Uh, we're very close to the Earth's core. I think. I'm getting a nosebleed. Well, I'm sure the subway will be right here somewhere. I mean, if there was a bomb or something outside, I think I'd be safe. I'm in a damn shelter. Where are we at here? One cool thing about New York subways is there's always art. Beautiful artwork. It's crazy tiles that have nothing to do with the face until you pull out. All right, we're still walking and talking. Uh, I see some activity up here. I see some activity up here. Now, if you got the balls to jump a turnstile, I've lived here for 30 years. I've never jumped a turnstile. Give it a little tap. You're good to go. I still don't see no damn subway train. I still don't see no train. I know. I could have walked to Queens. I think I could have walked to Queens. Oh, look at her. She's taking the steps. Now, that's not on my agenda, my friend. I'm gonna take the Q train. It's like a damn city down here. It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. <laughs> it's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. A newspaper burns in the sands and the headline read, Man destroys man. Extra, extra, read all the bad news. If war was peace, then everybody would lose. The rise and fall, the last great empire. The sound of the whole world caught on fire. Ruthless struggle, desperate gamble. All right. Shout out to Melly Mel and Scorpio. Now guys, you get your choice of going uptown or downtown. I'm going to Times Square, so I'm going downtown. Now, whenever I come in the subway, I like to play a game called Spot the Rat. But this is a really clean subway. Also, I would urge all of you to stay behind the yellow. Don't stand in the yellow. Don't walk in the yellow. Don't lean out looking for the train. It's going to come. It's going to come. Most people will stand behind the yellow because you don't want some moron over there running up and pushing you onto the tracks. I don't trust them. If your grandma is down in the subway, don't trust her. Don't trust nobody, bruh. This might be the cleanest subway I've ever been in. Now, way down the track, you'll see two little yellow lights. That's the train coming. I hear the train are coming, coming around the bend. And I ain't seen no sunshine since I don't know when. 
I'm stuck there on the Q train and I keep on holding on. If you're new to my channel, this probably is the last time you come to my channel because I'm just being stupid. Idiotic and stupid. I'm showing you what it's like to take the train. Now, if we'll get real lucky, there might be somebody performing on this train. Stay your ass behind the yellow, bro. Stay behind the yellow. You don't want to get pushed out into that, I promise you. I'm living on the edge. Look at it. I'm living on the edge. All right. Now I'm going to get on this train and avoid any fist fight. Any eye contact, any hello, how are you? If someone's smoking weed, don't say nothing. Someone's shooting heroin, don't say nothing. Let me sit right here. And relax. On to Times Square. God bless. 